Hey, what's up, YouTube Digital Soul here? Psh. Yeah, man, it's Friday. Sometimes I try to do funny off-the-wall stuff, or sometimes I just talk about an off-the-wall subject. Well, that's what today is going to be, man. I am going to talk about an off-the-wall subject you, you can tell by the title up above. But for now, here come the video. One more time. 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 I don't know how many people know about this or how many people may have experienced it. It's said to take it's said to happen more to African Americans than it is to Caucasian people, but whatever, everybody's sometimes experiences this. And I haven't experienced it since I was probably like 13 myself, but it's called sleep paralysis. It's where you're sleeping and you wake up it's like you're in a REM stage of sleep, you know, when the eyes go, you know, when you ever see someone sleeping and your mind wakes up, but the body's still in that REM perilous type thing where, you know, it's preventing the body from moving so you can rest and dream well and you can sort of hear stuff that's going on around you, but you can't move and you can't open your eyes. A lot of people say that this is what people um, have said to say that they experience, uh, alien UFO type uh, abductions or ghostly encounters because the mind can play tricks on you because you're not completely awake even though your brain is aware of something that's going on some of the dream still crosses over so even if you can open your eyes you still might hallucinate and see some things that aren't really there but you can't move you can't freaking move man and then all of a sudden you come out of it um, it's said to happen to a lot of people that experience narcolepsy and things like that, or if you don't get a lot of sleep. As I stated, it's happened to me twice in my life, and the last time I was probably around 13 years old. You know, it's like I was laying there and I was sleeping, and all of a sudden I can hear what was going on, and I was aware of things, but I just couldn't move, and I couldn't speak, I couldn't do anything. Is anybody else experiencing this? And if you are experiencing it, has it become a burden or problem for you? Because I'm curious. I'm curious to know things. You know, I mean, I'm the ever absorbing sponge. You know, I can never know too much. And if I do know something about something, I'm willing to know more, man. So if you know more about sleep paralysis, that's more than just a website, and you would like to share a personal story with me, you can either email me or you can write it below. And I would love to hear about it. Because this kind of stuff just you know it's it's my cup of tea so to speak it's what i'm into i like you know the paranormal anything you know and then this is the human mind which takes us into the second part of this video so as stated sleep paralysis can be scary to some people because as i said you can hallucinate and things can happen this leads me into dreams i did a video a long time ago called do dreams have meanings now have you ever flown in a dream? Have you ever ran really fast? Have you ever seen yourself doing something but you're watching it from over here but you can still see yourself? Have you ever tried to run away from something and you're like in slow motion you just can't seem to get away. Or your feet are going 100 miles an hour and you're just not getting anywhere. It's like Jason Voorhees is chasing you and keeping up even though he's walking and you're running your butt off, man. Or, um, like jumping downstairs. Like, did you ever have like a stairway? It's like you, you jump and you float down the stairs. Or you're in your room and you jump. Very softly, because, you know, you sit there and, you, you know, you just jump really soft. A lot of people are going to think that I'm doing those on something, but I'm not. I'm trying to talk about some stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? But you jump up and you float up next to the ceiling or something, or, or you get, like, full-fledged flying. You know, just hovering, you're flying. Now, what does this mean? I, I haven't experienced any of this stuff again since I was a younger child. And, no, I wasn't long enough, man. It's just that there was experiences. It's just that childhood is... Uh, testing us it's like traumatic or something that we're dealing with things we don't know how to deal with them because i've talked to other members in my family 
And like me, my mom, and my sister have all had the dream of jumping slowly down the same staircase. And it's just weird, you know? Why would you want to go and jump down the freaking stairs and float down them or whatever, you know? Or why would you want to fly? You know, what would, what, you know, it's not like we go to bed and we're thinking, yeah, I'm going to fly tonight and I'm going to do some stuff, you know, I'm going to fly. Or you dream that you have some money that you just won the lottery or something and it seems so freaking real and then you wake up and it's not there, you know? Or like, I dreamt one time chocolate cake, man. I dreamt that I had this chocolate cake, bought it, went to the store, bought this chocolate cake, came home, put that chocolate cake in the fridge, and then, you know, I went to do something, and, you know, I just lost track of myself in the dream, and then when I woke up, I went for that cake, man, and it just wasn't there. But dreams are just so crazy. Sometimes they allow us to uh, relive certain situations in our lives. You know, it's like, you know, maybe you love someone once, and it didn't work out, and like 10 years later, you have a dream about that person. And, and that's pretty cool, you know, I mean, it's like, hey, what's up, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like time, everything that happened between then and now, like, didn't exist because you're dreaming, because all of a sudden you're just there and your mind accepts it, and you're in this situation with this person, you're not questioning, hey, we're not together anymore, but, you know, I mean, just stuff happens, and you're talking to said person, and you're just reliving life, or you're reliving a moment in high school, you go back to high school again, you're talking to your old friends, or you just go do things, you know, dreams are just amazing. You know, it's why people need to sleep more, because if you don't get a lot of sleep, you're not going to get the REM sleep that you need to get the dream so your mind can relax and refresh your whole body, man. It's just, it's so crazy, the things that we can experience, you know, driving a car that you've never driven before, or, you know, flying or skydiving, or just, you know, like I said, seeing an old friend or seeing a past family member, you know, and dreams are just amazing. And, you know, I just, I like to read about things like this. So if you have a certain story that you would like to share, either in a video response, or if you just want to type it below, or if you just want to send me an email, that's cool, because it's digitalsoul at gmail.com, spelled incorrectly, just like my name is here on YouTube, you know, and a lot of people might wonder why I did that, that's because a long time ago my name was Digital Soul on YouTube with the A, and you know, I forgot what my password was, because I was just a watcher back then, and then I came back, and, you know, I couldn't remember my password, so I had to make another one, made it D-I-G-I-T-I-L, and then after a while the name became available again, and someone else has it now, but that's cool, because who cares, because I'm digital with an I. Anyway, to get back to it, dreams are crazy, and sometimes they're totally fun. If you're having too many nightmares, change up what you're eating at night, or change up what you're thinking about before you go to sleep, man. But for now, this is Digital Soul, Sleep Paralysis, and dream meanings, man. Discuss them, because I'd love to hear about it. But for now, enjoy your weekend, all right? Peace. Psh. Nah, he ain't here. He ain't jumping on me from nowhere, man. And I don't know if I'm going to let that happen again, because little dude's sneaky like that, man. But anyway, this video wasn't like me trying to school you on something. It was just me trying to get you to think about something. Take care.